What's up my YouTube viewers? Today I thought I would jump on here quickly and just give you an update on my HRT. If you remember, and I'll link to the video down below, the last hormone replacement therapy video I did, HRT, um, I was singing the praises of being on estrogel and testogel and um, progel or progesterone. So although I'm not in menopause, I'm in perimenopause, uh, and that's very clear to me that I am. Um, I've done blood tests as well. I will link, in fact, to my, all my um, HRT videos down below. So after that video, I went back to my doctor and we tested all my levels. And then he said that my estrogen and progesterone levels were too high. Well, they, I was on the gel creams. And so he suggested that I stop those, which I did. And that's been for about two to three months my memory is failing me how far back ago that was and so I haven't been on anything other than my testo gel half a pump every day and what's happening slowly is that I've sort of I could feel myself sliding backwards um, so I was on a f I think it was a full pump of estro gel every day whatever he had told me yeah one pump um, so now I'm taking it upon myself to go back on half a pump a day because what happened when I went off the estrogen and the progesterone is that symptoms of perimenopause came back and for me the symptoms the worst are the night sweats and for the first time ever I got a genuine hot flash or flush as we call it here in South Africa I got a genuine hot flush in the middle of the day which has never happened to me before I've had about two or three of those um, the one it was pretty chilly outside I was sitting in my house next thing I'm stripping off all my layers of clothing down to my bra and I'm like what the actual F is going on <laughs> so um, that was a signal to me and then um, I've just had my period and before that I had hectic night sweats so for me the first inkling of perimenopause has been night sweats when I turned 40 and those will come back again so much so to the point where I can wring out my clothes they are so damp I'm just dripping with sweat at night and it's not pleasant it's not fun to wake up sweating then you've got to change your clothes and then you get back into a bed that is uh, it sounds gross but it's damp with sweat and ugh. so although I'm sleeping well um, that is a minor sleep disturbance but I just thought you know what I've got the estrogel so I'm going to try now a month or two back on this so basically I'm, I'm giving myself or I'm, it's like putting myself back on birth control because I'm having a pump of estrogen every day and then I'll do the progesterone from days 8 to 28 like they said the testo gel is not a question my, I basically don't have any testosterone of my own <laughs> and so I'm going to do all that and then I'll report back to you but the moral or the the point of today's video is to say that when I did go off everything and I'm uh, ri riding it out naturally the sweats people ugh. so and I think also along with that there is the the feelings the moods the lack of energy that is so hard to pinpoint and it's so hard to say it's because of this because of course we all have ups and downs we have good days and bad days we have days when we're more tired um you know i haven't been dieting specifically well um but then again i've lost motivation to do so now is that because of not being on the hormones is it to do with me the fact that i've been sick a while ago and my sinuses are not clearing i don't know it's hard to to pinpoint but I'm back on the estrogel and I don't know if it's in my mind but I feel a little bit more perky nothing major to write home about but I think I think there is something to HRT for perimenopause for sure so if you're having symptoms I think it is worth checking it out going to see your doctor because there is relief there is help and I will link to a TED talk here in the description box below where the speaker was saying that if you are having perimenopausal symptoms like hot flushes and whatever else the mood swings the weight gain that blah 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 
that speaker was saying that it's almost already too late that the changes that it wreaks in your brain uh, for your brain health are not good so that speak of that TED talk um, was saying that your brain actually undergoes changes during perimenopause and postmenopause um, and they're not good <laughs> they lead to dementia and Alzheimer's and all these things now I don't want to scaremonger because I'm not a doctor I don't know but what I think is that if I can get relief and feel better why not if you're in a country where you can get bioidentical estrogel great if you're in a country that you can't um, from the research I've done and now again I'm not a doctor but it's all here on YouTube it's there on the internet you can use the birth control pill and um, which also just administers estrogen and progesterone you can use that as a form of perimenopausal and menopa menopausal symptom relief so don't take my word for it just please google it research it do your own research but I encourage you again as always to take matters into your own hands do your own research, advocate for your health, for your well-being. Um, what I find is when I'm off something, I do tend to get more tired, um, lackluster, lethargic. So finally, I have the energy to make another video. So maybe there is something to it. And yeah, let's just keep researching, reading, educate yourself. I, I think we live in a fantastic time age of the internet youtube all these things where i know you've got to wade through a lot of info but use your common sense we've got brains we we know what we're looking for um and read 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 <laughs> anyway i don't want to waffle on too long thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye